Hey my lovely Scorpios, welcome to your reading, first card over, spiritual growth. Um, I will leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings, okay guys? So without further ado, let's begin. True gem, jumped out as well. Um, Scorpios, you are. You are a true gem and how do we, you know, how are gems created? They are created by pressure over a huge amount of time. So if you've been experiencing this pressure over a huge amount of time, believe me, you're a gem. You are turning into something beautiful, this diamond. People may just see you as a rock, but I see you as something special here. You've experienced this time and time again, and you've grown spiritually over and over again, and you've experienced these death and rebirths over again, and these towers, endless towers as a Scorpio. And I know because you guys know I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, everything with reason, right? You are, you have been put under this pressure because you was turning into something special, right? You was turning into something special here. Uh, destiny. I seen past love as well, Scorpio. Shall I bring it out to you? Damn it. Shouldn't have seen it. <laughs> Shouldn't have seen it. Right? <sighs> There's destined events that put you under all this pressure to turn you into, you know, this diamond when somebody's walking around picking up pebbles they put down a diamond here past love none of us scorpios should have a past love because we are <laughs> you know we should have really been understood for the true gem we are cross watches i'm joking i know you guys have dealt with uh probably the worst kind of scorpio and believe you me i know when a scorpio is bad they're bad too right I think on the FBI's most wanted list is water signs at the top, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you know, they are emotionally abusive and they get under your skin and they know how to poison you and things. I know that Scorpios are the best and the worst, depends where they're at in their spiritual growth, right? If you're a Scorpio and you're focused on your spiritual growth, you'll also know that side of yourself. You'll know that dark side of yourself. Um, but also, it's time to see this beauty within yourself, right? And not from ego. I'm sick of hearing people say Scorpios are full of ego and things like that. No, actually, if they know that um, they're a good person or something like that, you know, each to their own. Ego is evolved so that we can survive, right? In every person. Um, and it's not that we also need a healthy amount of self-esteem every person again um so yeah let's get off that but um yeah you've been under this pressure for this amount of time probably your whole life um to mold you into something beautiful and you know i feel like this past love it really set you off on a whole new direction spiritually. Like I said, you've probably been under pressure from very young age, um, being molded into who you're meant to be because you're here for a very big reason, Scorpio. Okay, this is why you've been pressured and molded and your situation, destiny, um, was that of a difficult one. Let's see. Let's see what Destiny is bringing then, right? Scorpio, let's get the tar tarot card started. And like I said, I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box. Queen of Cups. You, you learn to be more softer. Surprising. Surprising where usually I'm, I'm usually a very strong masculine woman. 
Um, so I'm surprised that you're tuning into with your spiritual growth, this feminine side of you. And it's wonderful. You're not giving up on love. You may say it sometimes when you're not spiritually grown, but you're not giving up on love here. You have so much love to give. Ace of Pentacles. You're just waiting for the right love offer this time. Which could be from a past person here, past love. This could be who's making you this offer. Everybody has their free will. You don't have to accept it. You don't have to tell me you don't want somebody from your past. I'm saying it's quite a possibility that the next offer that's coming towards you may even be another Scorpio you're dealing with. Um, is going to make you this love offer. Destiny is giving him a slap here. <laughs> Destiny is giving that past love a slap with those hands there. Maybe a Scorpio needing a slap. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Like I said, I know the bad ones. Um, so, yeah, death and rebirth again. Um, it's a change for the better this time, Scorpio. It's a change for the better. Um, you're going to see it, that Ace of Pentacles, those big things coming your way because of this spiritual growth. Um, the Hermit. You may, be, you may have become a spiritual mentor because of this spiritual growth, right? You may have kept to yourself this time. Maybe in the past when you went through things, you may have even lashed out. Um, you may have parted <laughs> you know there's different things isn't there because we're all different people so we'll deal with it differently um but i feel here this time you didn't search for answers or love outside of yourself that's what changed that's what triggered this rebirth you went within you turned into a virgo and turned into a hermit and did the work you really did the work this time, Scorpio. I feel it. It's made my stomach like you really did the work. Seven of Pentacles. And that's because you waited on something. Um, so I feel like you kind of did the work here with this Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. You did, you waited and waited for something that didn't come. So it started your spiritual work because that wasn't growing. The usual way you do things wasn't working out for you. So this is why you, you started changing. This is why you started working and started growing. Queen of Wands. So it could be that you were dealing with a fire sign. I just said to Leo's, I can't believe Scorpio didn't come into your reading. The last card was the Queen of Cups. <laughs> but we have a fire sign here. So it could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo coming towards you. But we have all the signs. It could be another a uh, water sign and of a Scorpio and a, and a Virgo here with Earth. You know, um, don't just put it down to um, the signs that come out in the video. But I try to say it when I remember so that, you know, people who ask can still get what they desire too. Sorry, I've changed my location. I'm chilling out on my sofa here. Okay, two of wands. Decision is yours. You're going to get two offers here. Probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure um, that Earth might be your past that you was waiting for. Um, fire sign might be a booty call. And your new love maybe is another water sign here. But it's up to you to decide. You know, um, it seems like there's three stages of love that you face. Maybe it's just, um, maybe that Queen of Cups could actually be love that you've transformed with family, with parents, with your own mum or as a mum. And that earth can be transforming your business. And then this fire is this passion changing how you go after love, how you react to different things. So these could be different, like your moon sign, you know, as well, things like that. Let's see what the decision is. Ten of Swords. You've betrayed me for the last time. Um, because that Ten of Swords is kind of like a death card, kind of saying, you know, 
I really died that time. That time with that last knife and in my back there, I really died. Um, and this is why you had to be reborn into somebody else. Into, you know, a new version of yourself. But, you know, with the Ten of Swords, when we talk about um, Scorpios, um, you know, and becoming Ash, this Ten of Swords, it's like there's nothing left of the old you. So what this past love will find when they find you, I don't know, but it's not who you once were. And they triggered that in you. Five of Swords, woo. They're going to find um, somebody, you know, with a lot to say. <laughs> I feel like you still have questions for this person. So you might listen to what they have to say. But for you, you may feel like, look, it's a lose-lose situation. Every time I get into a relationship, I'm maybe going to stay the hermit. It seems pleasing at this moment. Um, but like I said, Scorpios, I know you'll never stay that far away from love. I just looked down. It's 11-11 on the clock. Three of Swords. So this pain, this heartache, it's like this past love. It keeps reminding you and it keeps coming back. And Mercury's going direct today, thank God. Um, so you will move past that. And I guess that's why it's come up in the reading again. Um, because we're being drawn to these past experiences. But looking at them individually, like I just did, like maybe family work, your relationship with all these different aspects of your life. With this death card, we can now change it for the better, for good. I mean, um, with the Queen of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, Five of Swords on the Queen of Wands. <laughs> it's been tricky, your relationships and how you communicate with people. I feel like you're always misunderstood and the one left hurt, right? It's like... It's like people choosing to misunderstand you on purpose. It could have even felt like that. I think what you learned here was to understand when somebody's at five, put five swords in your back, don't stay to let them put another five, right? Or even another three. You don't want to get to eight of swords either. So I feel like you've learned accountability and understanding that, okay, I did get hurt, but maybe I let that person hurt me. Because I think one of my videos for Scorpio was, nobody can lie to you. So if somebody lies to you, you kind of let them because your intuition kicks straight in and calls BS on these guys, you know. Hierophant. So there you are. You've learned that last lesson. Because it's something that you learn about yourself because of this past love. Now, when they come forward, I mean, if you're still heartbroken because the Three of Swords came out pretty late in the reading. So I would say that you're just experiencing a third party situation and you're just about to learn this lesson that others have learned. You're going to wait for this past love. Um, you're going to deal with this heartache and this betrayal. Um, and in communication, you may be misunderstood. You may have been waiting for them to return. And you've received a sign here, but didn't translate the sign properly. And this is what, when I tell everybody, when they get the hermit, you need this spiritual guidance, especially if you are just going through this heartache and you're waiting for something to manifest, but not sure how to. Spiritual guidance here will help you get to a better place a lot quicker, Scorpios, right? But you have this amazing spiritual growth and this amazing ability to transform and adapt to situations. So don't ever feel like it's too late to stop and start again with a new career, with a new situation. Because I do see, um, you know, when we go into hermit mode, we have to end up cutting a lot of people off. Nine of Swords. Um, you could be feeling anxiety at this time, um, having sleepless nights, especially if you're just going through this. But yeah, Five of Swords is that Mercury retrograde. The star, the star and destiny here. Um, you're meant for big things. Trust the process, Scorpio. You'll come out the other side. Good luck, guys.